This patient has a hammer toe deformity of the fifth digit, so today we're going to straighten the hammer toe uh, with a cannulated uh, digital implant that sits right in the middle of the bone. Um, there'll be no K wires exposed. The complete um, reconstruction will be all internal, so the patient will have a nice straight toe at the end of the procedure. Proximal phalanx exposed. This is the deformity. The level of deformity is right at the proximal of the phalangeal joint, uh, which is prominent right at the uh, the edge of the bone right here. Once the joint's resected, this is a brooch that we use into the uh, middle phalanx to prepare the bone for the implant. And it slips in there very nicely, it's a very sharp brooch. The guide wire is placed into the proximal phalanx and we're going to thread the implant right over the guide wire so it makes a nice easy placement for the implant. The implant's been threaded over the guide wire and about ready to put it in the toe. The uh, implant's been placed into the proximal phalanx very nicely over the guide wire. The implant's been placed into the joint. The toe is rectus. It has a nice position and there's no external K-wires. So once we sew this up, It'll, be, it'll uh, heal up from the inside um, and look really good for uh, years. Toe has been corrected, sutured up. After uh, 10 days, we'll take the sutures out and then the, count, the coin will start to disappear uh, since we've uh, worked on the bone. So we don't really excise any of the skin. The toe is nice rectus alignment, good position, a little bit lower than the fourth toe, and that should heal up real nicely.